Well, there is a cozy space right on the corner in gorgeous downtown Excelsior. Not that you need a reason to go to Excelsior because it's such a fantastic town. And the big ice castle is going to be opening up soon just down the road. Uh, but we're excited to talk about a new restaurant that just opened a couple of months ago. And we have our friend Eli Wollensine here, who, of course, also has another restaurant just down the street. Yeah, absolutely. And, well, it's so good to have you yeah, here. Thank you for having me back. It's awesome to be here. Yes. So um, Eli also owns and runs the two coalitions, the mm -hmm. one in Edina and the one. Yep. So you're yep. busy. You're busy. Very busy. Yeah, we opened the original coalition back in 2014, but uh, last year opened one in 50th in France. And mm -hmm. now Red Sauce Rebellions, our newest one, and we have a uh, nice big event center in the basement. So, of course, this time of year we're busy with events but yeah uh, it's a really cool it's, it's it we, we have video of the restaurant and it's oh, a cool. really cool basement i went down and checked it out the rebel room is a private room that you can rent but here it is um upstairs as you look out on downtown excelsior onto yeah. onto water street there and uh just a beautiful space uh to go for lunch or dinner absolutely and um and we're going to go through a couple of recipes in just a moment in fact we have that one so we're excited yeah, no kidding. and then you go downstairs and it's kind of like a cool KV spot there and uh, a great bar so yeah. yep. congratulations yep. on all of that yeah absolutely and we opened as a lounge on thursday fridays and saturdays down there have a big cocktail selection it's really nice so fabulous all right Come so check us out. what are we making well we're going to make our most uh probably most popular pasta right now uh, it's called stroza pretty we squash and some really good ingredients but you can also serve this as a side dish next week I'm gonna add some shallots some garlic to get it going and then some chili flakes okay and I like this pasta because it comes together really quick it's not you're not waiting forever to cook it we're gonna add our squash now, I already roasted the squash so that helps us out oh, I love restaurants the squash. we kind of uh, cook ahead a little bit to cheat just a bit the real good thing is we're gonna use some brown butter at the end Okay. And brown butter is just cooking it till his milk fats. Um, Fabulous. Oh, and it smells nice and nutty. And we just cook it till the milk fats break down. We've got some spinach. Now, I just take the noodles. These are already cooked and cold. I just heat them all up with everything in there. Okay. I just kind of throw it all in. And that's, some, the, that's what it's named after, is that noodle, Strozapretti, right? Yeah, and the Strozapretti, uh, as you might know, is uh, a strangled priest, they call it, because it reviews a, looks like a rope. So we're going to just Walnuts. throw all this in. Walnuts. We got some gremolata. We got some lemon juice. Mm. And then we're going to throw this nice brown butter in. Okay. So it's not, maybe not the healthiest pasta. You know what, it, 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 <laughs> pasta, you don't need to be uh, healthy, right? Yeah it's, yeah, it's a great place to go to, Look at that. to warm up in the winter. And so you have some nice color to it, and you have a vegetarian option to offer whoever's coming over. And you also have really good oysters, too. We do. We grill our oysters, <laughs> so we use, do them year-round, and we uh, char them on a grill, uh, char grill, and they get really nice and bubbly with some Parmesan. And, we got some good stuff. Wow, that's all, huh? It's, it's it. So we're going to do a little garnish when we get here. But let's get this into the pasta or into the bowl. Yep, make get it really Get everything nice and hot. Make sure the pan's really hot when you start. Yeah, we got everything nice and hot. Of course, Doesn't you got a lot of garlic so and ginger or uh, shallots in there. So, And then we've got some I more gremolata. Gremolata is just garlic, lemon zest, and um, parsley. So it adds a nice Oh, that's what I was going to ask you. So it's parsley, not basil. So you have oh. the basil on the side. I do have some basil in oh, there as well. Oh, look at that. Let's talk about what else you brought here. Well, you know, we, we uh, are known for our spaghetti meatballs. Of course, Red Sauce Rebellion, it's kind of saying, you know, the red sauce is coming back. We're going to win. So it's a nice meatball and uh, red sauce. And then we do these deep dish pizzas, a biscuit crust, cheese on the bottom. Oh, They're served in a cast yeah. iron. Try a piece of that. They're about 400 pounds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Big, dying. heavy. Beautiful you know. salad with uh, fried yeah. chickpeas on the top. Absolutely. And these wonderful little sweetie drop peppers that are kind of unusual. This little <laughs> tiny little pepper. So, okay, good. fabulous. Yeah, you take it. reservations? We do not. We, we take walk-ins. We do a no-wait app, so you can kind of call yes, that that's and get really in. You know what? Cool. That's I've what I've been using lately, yeah. too, because I don't want to wait, and so I just do the app, and that works out really good. Yeah. Eli, congratulations. Thank you so much. Red Sauce Rebellion is located on Water Street, right on the corner in Excelsior, and we have a link to uh, this recipe yeah. on carol11.com.